What's poppin' people? My name's Haligonian, and in this video, I'm going to be showing off my new plugin, Memleak, which generates infinite glitch visuals by reading parts of your computer's memory as if it were pixel data. So let's jump right into it. Here I have a 1080p composition in After Effects with a solid layer, and I have the resolution set to quarter. I just applied Memleak to the layer. There are no parameters, and you can see immediately we get some cool glitch effects. So the coolest thing about Memleak is every time you use it, you get completely different effects. So if we change the resolution here, we see we get something completely different. And if we change it back, After Effects has cached all these frames. We can uncache them. There's a few ways to do that, but an easy way is just like apply a transform effect before it and then just like change something that isn't going to make a big difference. Like, I don't know, change scale to 100.1 or something. And you can see now we get a completely different effect because every time you use it, it looks completely different. And there are a few other things you can do to make it look very different. So with the exact same settings, it's always going to look different, but you can make it look a completely different type of different, if that makes sense, um, in a few ways. So one is resolution. So right now we're in quarter of 1080p. So whatever that is, 360p or something like that. If we go down and click custom, it actually often looks good at really low resolutions. So if you go to custom and then we change it to like 6 by 6 or you could even do like 24 by 24 or something. Um, well, in 1080p that might be a little low, but that, that could be cool for something. But uh, let's try like 10, 10 by 10. Uh, I don't love that one. We can try 6 by 6. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I definitely recommend just experimenting with the resolution. I'll also show you just one other way if you want to clear the the cache without applying an effect before it. You can just go up to help um, and then go purge all memory and disk cache. On Windows, it'll just be edit purge all memory and disk cache because you can't search these things on Windows. So one other thing you can do if you want to make it look very different is you can change the project bit depth. So if you go over to the project panel and then alt or option click on this thing here, you can change between 8, 16, and 32 bits per channel. And you can see it looks very different at each one, especially 32, because in 32 bits per channel, pixels are stored in memory in a very different way to 8 and 16. So you get these very different looking effects. It almost looks more like noise in this case, but again, it looks different every time you use it. So this is pretty cool on its own, but I also just wanted to give you some ideas for some things you can do with this footage. So I'm going to combine it with my other effect pixel fan here and just sort of mess around, maybe draw a mask here and then change the mask to none, select it in pixel fan and set it to original frame mode. And now we can do some scaling and maybe we could keyframe that around. Maybe another thing we could do is add some pixel sorter. That might be kind of cool. Change the threshold here. That looks pretty neat. So yeah, that looks like completely different. Also a glitch effect, but that was like a few seconds of adding some other effects and just wanted to spark your inspiration a little bit for the additional things that you can do with it. So there are two other things I just want to show. If your resolution is too high, it might fail to find a block of memory the size of the frame. So in this case, it was able to find it, but if it takes more than like a second to find it, then you'll just get a message saying, please lower your resolution. And then the last thing I want to say is if you have a render that you like, so let me get something that I think looks kind of cool. You can change the bit depth. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So let's say I like this and I want to use it. Well, how are you supposed to make sure that you keep it? Because the only way that it's staying the same right now is because After Effects has cached it, as you can see by the green bar on the timeline. So the way that you actually keep it and use it in the future is you have to render it out. And so you can go add a render queue. And then you want to make sure that in render settings, you have the quality set to the, or sorry, resolution set to the same. So that was at quarter. So I want to set the resolution a quarter. And now if we go render that out, I'll render it to the desktop. And then we go look at it. There it is. And then if you want to use that again so that it looks the exact same in the future, we can add it here, right click, transform, fit to comp, so it'll scale it up. And obviously it, uh, After Effects doesn't realize this is supposed to look 
pixely and glitchy. So it's trying to do this bilinear interpolation, soften all the edges. So you can get around that by clicking here to toggle between these two things. And then click on this until you get to the pixelated one. And then since my comp is in quarter, it's not going to look the same until the comp is in full. And I can see here, it looks the same as this did before. A little bit of compression because I did H.264, but you could also render it in a different codec that will have less compression. I hope you found this video useful. I would love to see what you create with this effect. You can join the Haligonian Discord to share what you've made. And everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do. Thank you.